All right, MMTs, here we are right now on the Google call options. We had the limit orders out at 760 with Mr. Plain. Is that correct, Mr. Plain? And if that is correct, why did we cancel the order and get out of the way, but it printed within three cents of our price, sir? Yeah, we got out of the way because there was broad-based selling across the board, elevated uh, volatility levels. Is that just levels. selling down here in the Dow, 121 points, getting a haircut, breaking below its negative on the year now in our platform, Mr. Plain. It's below that area that I told everybody about this morning, selling through 12,020. And then look at these names down here. This one's trying to get made. So the call option over here, 750, this is a real true wholesale market that we had out there. But like you said, we got out of the way for the moment because it's still wholesale no matter what. And you can see the bid is 60. There's 40 cents wide, 30 pennies wide, MMTs. It's important for you to know, MMT. When you're coming up off that bottom, and this has got to be working your way for this call option to hold its bid. That's its 7.6 ratio bid. And this has to go up in order for this side of the market to rise in value. As you will see live, somebody just bought at 90 pennies. Look at that. There it goes. And it looks like we got a big breakout on Google and a three-minute price action bar right over here. You can see it clearly. Look at that big three, six. Look at that. It's going to be a six. No, it's right up here. But that's what you want. One teeny, two teenies, three teenies. At 27 pennies a teeny. So, therefore, this side okay. of the market rises in price this is why this side inflates higher and you're told you now the thing about it is you had a big spike here and that's what took these calls up and if it stops you would have to trick this side to buy what would you do you'd step in here at eight dollars to sell bam you get hit you undercut them because you were already in at 60 cents and if you wanted to get out with the limit order, this is how you're going to learn how to be an SMFMMT, controlling that bid and that ask, and learning how to control the the other people in the, around the people that are there in that level too now. As far as if you threw an $8 to sell out, this side, bam, if this side ticks up, then they're going to pay it. See, $8 just got thrown out there. And why is that? Because you you didn't stay. You had the big spike. You had the big spike here. But there's no follow through. That means the IR reverse. It was up here. It was bid popping. And there's a teeny breakout. But he slid the bid. As soon as he slides half of that bar. Uh, yeah. As soon as he, but your bid. See, you were down here at the wholesale market as far as buying the option relative to the equity price movement, right? And because you're wholesale here, you're comfortable, but you got out of the way. And the whole thing about it is, is it's trying to do it. It will have to do like Sina did, and it's not. It's print too. Bam. So wholesale here to what's happening down here is why this market down here that I gave before the opening has got to be at a 750 by 780 market. Yes, Brian Plain, can you tell us where we put our limit order out prior to this uh, uh, 710 print? Hold on. I'm going to put it back. Here we are, MMTs. This is that Google 510 call that we're talking about. We had bids at 610, got to 620, 630 by 50. Google is trying to make an all-time bottom right here. So here, let's make sure that you can see the price action right here now. And this is the low of the day right here. So we can clearly see that we're down here, and we are. And at some point, we're going to make a market. Now, 
510.73 is where that 510 call is right here. How do you like me now? 610 by 630. We have market limit orders out down, I think. We're starting in the 650, uh, 520 handle. Bids. And we're working the market. Now the equity price has got to make a turn. So this equity platform, market maker platform, tells my MMTs if these calls are going to stay strong or weak by using the same tools as buying an equity as buying an option. Same rule applies. Very simple. All rules apply. MMTs. Okay, and there's that 610 by 630. Here's that Google print right here, 511.35. Here's that Google chart right here. Google tells you. Let's get it all in there for you. Right? There's your bid. There's your ask. There's your attempted bottom again. Let's take a look, MMTs, as far as buying call options wholesale. And why do I buy wholesale to sell back to the public? And why do I enjoy my life? Here are the lower teenies. A teeny is 27 cents. That's the attempted bottom off of the half bar. At some point, you will make a low, and that's 511.31 right there. You're 511.50 by 64 in the bid and ask. You're above half bar. MMTs. Do you see that? So that means that the call option over here, they were 930 on the high. They're $3.60 from the close, but $3 today, exactly $3.10 down to the wholesale entry. This is where the SMF market maker, option market maker, gets the entries. And then if we turn around and break north of 25, 35, and we break out and we do have that equity side, well, that equity side is what we're trading as well because that goes higher, these go higher from the wholesale bid. The higher that we do that. So far, Google has failed on an intraday level every bounce because the reality is right here, look, every single bounce, it had a bounce, slide the bid. So narrow range bounce, slide the bid. Not even a healthy 3.6, but immediately sliding the bids all the way down. Then having weak consolidation in teeny lines. Then we finally break down. Look at the amount of teenies from this breakdown bar to this low right here. And once again, these upside bars got to have another bigger, fatter bar to go with it. They can't have a red bar. They, can't, they need to have a big green bar to know that these calls are going to go higher in price right here. 510 calls, 630 by 650. We know it. And we know, though, that this has to do a certain thing. This bar has to be big, this three-minute bar. And it must stay above the high of that breakout bar to say that you would even think about wanting to bid even at this price. Yeah, you're buying as a market maker down toward the low, 630 by 660. 630. 660, okay? 630, 660. 680, 660. 630, guess what? If you don't break north of 25, you're going to drop the bids there. Now, on the Apple calls over here, let's take a look at it. There's the Google prints. There's the Apple. There's the indexes. We want to keep those in here somehow, okay? So we'll keep that right here. Or right up over here. Move that over. Put that right there. All right. So you can see here where we put a bottom in the indexes now, MMTs. And you can see here on the Apple calls that we were telling people about. That's a, five, a 325 call that expires today on Apple Computer. And here is the Apple Computer print. And it's a weekly options expiration, $93 million negative money flow on the Apple trade. Now, we're making markets here wholesale, and we're going to make a market in a 325 call on Apple Computer. Remember, it's all done live. Remember, the public wrote them today from 655 all the way down to 220. That's what they do. Okay, now it's a 325 call that expires today, which warrants a transaction down in this lower level. Because if we turn around in the actual bid and ask of the of the chart in Apple, on this three minute Apple chart right here, you can see it right here. You can see that bottom down here. It, once again, all of these names are deep down. 
which you can see that that call contract is going higher now. And once again, even Apple, right here, Apple is having an attempted reversal. See, 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 Apple three minute MMTs. Now, look at that MMTs. Let's go ahead and price that in there. And that's on that call option. This is all live right now, MMTs, there it is. You got your pricing right there. Here's that call. There's that low. But you are not strong on the bottom here in the equity because of that IR, which tells you that these calls ain't got no power. Now, that Google call, Google's breaking higher. See the prints? 512.51 right here. See the calls going up? Isn't that nice? So they put that low in and they leveraged up because the Google chart, if you take a look at it carefully now, you'll know that the kind of buy action that you want on a breakout with Google here is this right here. MMTs, see how we put that bottom in? See that up bar? Now, it was narrow range, but you always have to have it. It came in the third bar. It didn't close below here, and when it started up, you could be transacting right in here, right now, right down at that bottom there. Okay? That's what you want to see when Google's putting in a bottom. You must go north of 35. If it's 35 and it rolls over, hey, that's the end of the move. And that would be the end of this uh, move, in the, in the, and you would have to know how to sell out of the 510 call, which no one ever does. MMTs. And like I said, there it is. There is the low right to the strike price. See, 510 call. See the low, 510.73. See the low. See the bid and the ask now. And you came off the bottom here, and you're at a 25. If you go north of 35, these will go up to $8. Okay? But you have to get going that way and work your way all the way back up to you have to have a lot of torque in this going that right way. And this better drop in value as well. If this doesn't drop in value, then we're not going any higher. And these aren't going any higher. So let's get back to the Apple trade now. Um, the Apple trade, it looks like, is right here. So let's get the Apple trade in here. This yeah, is the Apple. Okay. This is the Apple move, and it's weak. So the, these calls, are, I mean, it's trying to put a bottom in right now. However, once again, you're at a 13 IR, 14 IR. 